Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, today I thought I'd update the uh, instructions for the new Blizzard app. Now, uh, Battle.net or Blizzard has eliminated the Battle.net app and they have released a new Blizzard app. You can see it on my desktop. And uh, it's basically the Blizzard, the uh, Battle.net launcher app. Um, but I noticed that <clears throat> some of the install procedures used in the past don't work. So I played around with it <clears throat> and I think I found a method uh, that works to get this Blizzard app working properly within Debian, I'm sorry, within Ubuntu uh, at least 16.10. You want to have at least 16.10. So Ubuntu 16.10, the new 17.04 and uh, Archbase distributions or Manjaro. Uh, let me open this Blizzard app and I'll show you uh, that it works just fine and then I'll go over the basic instructions to get it working on your Ubuntu install or your Arch or Manjaro install. <coughs> now it does take quite a long a bit of time to open but you'll know that it's working properly when the icon shows in your taskbar and then finally eventually the uh, blizzard launcher window will open and you'll be able to launch any of the games that you downloaded now I installed Diablo 3 which works fine uh, I installed Hearthstone which works fine as you can see that those are the only two that I installed but uh, more than likely Starcraft uh, I think Heroes of the Storm will work uh, but I haven't downloaded those two but the instructions for installing the Blizzard app and getting it working properly on your system are um, I've got a step-by-step -step here and I'll go through that with you and then I'll put the instructions in the show notes <clears throat> so if I click on play just to show you that uh, it works fine now <clears throat> Hearthstone works fine and Diablo works fine uh, as you can see Hearthstone opened and it's going to go right to the play screen with no problems at all. As you can see. So I'm going to close out. And I will show you Diablo. <clears throat> if I click play, you'll notice that it does take about 30 seconds or so for the screen to open uh, it turns white and then it'll bring up the uh, Diablo 3 screen so as you can see it's going to connect to the Blizzard server uh, and it's going to open no problems at all I'm going to close this out and exit it runs perfectly so let me close this out and I'll show you the install process for the new Blizzard app. And I'll close that out. Now I'm going to review the instructions with you step by step. And as I said, I'll post them in the show notes. And I'm going to open with LeafPad. Let me close that out and I'm just going to enlarge this so we can go over the step by step. Okay, <clears throat> up the top of the instructions, I have instructions on replacing your 64 bit wine prefix with a 32 bit. Occasionally, uh, you when you install Blizz the Blizzard app in a 64 bit system, if it does not run using these instructions then enter these three commands 
in a terminal and that will change your wine prefix from 64 bit to 32 bit and then you'll have to go through the uh, libraries see the wine config libraries down here you'll have to go through that install process again because your wine prefix will be empty okay so <clears throat> that's up the top here is if you want to change from a 32 bit from a 64 bit wine prefix to a 32 bit now for ubuntu installs you got to make sure you enable 32 bit that's this first command the second command gets you the microsoft fonts that's critical and the third command these are programs that you'll wanna install in order to pull in some codecs uh, and various uh, files that you'll need to make sure that this works some of these may not be needed uh, but I find that when I install all of these I have success most of the time so you're gonna for, for Ubuntu you're gonna use sudo apt-get install and you're gonna install wine development wine tricks play on Linux steam VLC SM player GIMP Ubuntu restricted extras and Ubuntu restricted add-ons for, for Arch and Manjaro you will want to make sure you enable multilib in your Pac-Man configuration file and then you're going to go through this install procedure. You're going to use the Owert for the Microsoft fonts. And then you're going to install Wine and Wine Tricks, Play on Linux, Steam, VLC, SM Player, GIMP. You're going to install these three 32-bit files. These are critical. And then you're going to, if you want to install all of the GStreamer codecs, it's a very long process. And uh, in many cases, you don't need them but if you want to install them if for example you finish everything and it doesn't work then you can go and install the gstreamer codex and just enter the this command right up until the ffmpeg and you make sure you use this bracket at the end so you want to use this whole command in terminal okay if you have an NVIDIA card make sure in Ubuntu that you have enabled the proper drivers and in Arch and Manjaro you want to install all of these files these are mainly audio uh, files so that you don't have audio issues within Blizzard the Blizzard app so that's this entire command okay so those are the f the, the installation steps in Ubuntu and Arch there are some differences as you can see but for configuring the libraries it's pretty much the same on both Ubuntu Arch and Manjaro in terminal you're gonna run this wine tricks command so you're gonna run wine tricks core fonts hosts win HTTP winnynet VCR run 2015 you're gonna run that whole command in why in terminal so wine tricks that helps configure all the libraries that you need then you're going to enter wine CFG in terminal that's going to open up your wine config window let me open that up just to illustrate so when wine your wine configuration opens up make sure you have Windows XP now in the past Diablo wouldn't run in Windows XP it would only run in Windows Vista but I have found that Windows XP works on everything now so you're gonna make sure Windows XP is your Windows version and then click on the libraries tab and make sure you have all of these now there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14 15 entries uh, so make sure you have all of those this is after you end up running the wine tricks command that's going to automatically put all these libraries in now the only one you'll have to add manually is this one down the bottom d3d compiler 
underscore 47. You, you need to add that to libraries for Diablo 3. You'll have to add that one manually. Now, that, as you can see, um, mine is running with those libraries. Okay, so now there are a couple of libraries that <clears throat> you don't have to add. Um, what you'll want to do is after you run the wine tricks command, go into your libraries, make sure WinHTTP and WinNet is there with native and built in. Now, if you finish this process, if you finish this process and it still won't run, then there are two more libraries you can try adding. That's DNS API native built in and RAS API 32 native only. So <clears throat> it, you don't need to install those um, unless all else fails. If you do install them off the, right off the bat and Blizzard doesn't run, remove them. If you don't install them and Blizzard doesn't run, install them. So I'm going to put a note, install or remove if Blizzard app doesn't run and you'll know what I'm referring to. Now, normally this works in 32 and 64 bit, but if it doesn't run in your 64 bit install, use these instructions at the top to switch to a 32 bit wine pre prefix, and that should make it run in your 64 bit system. At the very least, you need these libraries, these five that I've entered down here. Those are the very minimum libraries that you can have to make this run. But as I said, you should have about 15 libraries in your um, win, uh, Wine config once you finish the install. <clears throat> so using these instructions, whether you have an Ubuntu install or an Arch or Manjaro install should get the Blizzard app going for you. Uh, now guys on a personal note I uh, as you know I, I've been struggling lately with uh, atrial fibrillation and uh, I went to the hospital yesterday and my heart is now back beating normally. I feel much better. I still don't have all my energy back but I imagine I'll get a little stronger day by day. But it, it feels really good to have a normal heart, heartbeat. Once, uh, when I got to the hospital, my heartbeat was, and it's been this way for about two months, it was, was about 115 beats a minute at rest and very erratic. Um, beating like that for about two months really drained my my energy and um, after my heartbeat went back to normal I was 60 beats a minute at rest and very regular normal a normal EKG so uh, now I'm on a new medication now to control my heartbeat to try to make sure that it stays on track but all things considered, I'm doing quite well, and I thank everybody for their uh, kind words and uh, support um, over this last few weeks. Um, but I'm getting my energy back, and uh, hopefully I'll be releasing more videos. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thumb the videos up if you enjoy them. And I will see you soon. Take care.